Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time, everyone, we are going to be taking a look at, wow, hard to believe, we're taking a look at the main component of the Terracons. Yes, this is the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes Voyager Class Hunger. As you can see, his alternate mode is that of a twin headed dragon beast thing. Uh, he looks just amazing. Love this guy. He's an incredible all new mold. Just just epic. Um, Prime Crows mostly for Hunger is, well, white, purple, red, uh, pre light stickers with some yellow and together, yeah, some yellow and such. Some black, some gray, uh, lightish purple, pinkish purple. Um, and he does have Decepticon symbols. One that is normal Decepticon colors, and the other one is inverted for some reason. I don't know why. Might be a G2 reference or something. I don't know. Anyways, comes with a couple accessories. He comes with two feet here, two of the feet here, um, for Abominus, which that's what the Terracons do. That, well, that's what they uh, combine into. Uh, he also comes with his own... Enigma of Combination, which is stored on the belly here. So you can plop it out, and there you go. You can put any, like you can put not just an Enigma, you can put a Titan Master, a, a Prime Master in there as well. So there's a lot of options that you can do there. I, I could be wrong. I haven't, I've barely played with them at all since <laughs> with other projects and such. But anyway, so Hunter looks pretty good. Um, articulation in his beast mode. Let's front legs go forward and back and they can go in and out, but that's part of the transformation. Um, legs, back legs can go forward and back, out to the side, bend up and down, again, all transformation. And then the heads can go up and down, you can turn side to side. The heads can turn side to side, they can go up and down, and the mouths open and close. Um, so you have a lot of emo emotive parts that you can do with it, and this is pretty cool, I mean, this is amazing, we haven't, I mean, okay, aside from Transformers Prime, which was just an all Legion class combiner set, which yes, as I mentioned in the last night on Furcus Review, that was a re complete retool of the Terracons from Transformers Prime. Anyways, the Terracons here are all new molds. All new molds, unique transformations, so there's that. Um, yeah, so accessories, as I've mentioned, you can pop them off. You can plop, and much like with any of the other guys, you can plop on a Enigma of Combination or a Prime Master or a Titan Master or whatever, so there's that. As you can clearly see, there is a bit of a quality control issue regarding his... This foot is way loose and this is the is really tight no big deal but I mean a little floor polish wouldn't hurt but without the weapons he just looks so dynamic hunger does he just really really does um so yeah all in all hunger here looks pretty good in beast mode and why well, must say it looks pretty amazing to say the least transformation to his robot mode is pretty epic just pretty straightforward so first thing you want to do is straighten the beast heads and fold them down. Just fold them down like this. And then what you want to do with the the heads is split their mouths open to form the feet. Like that. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Be careful the teeth are a little prickly. They're sharp but they're a little prickly and then just push them forward just a tad bit and then get them situated like that. Next thing you want to do is you want to take his arms, rotate them down like this, take the the beast paw, fold it around along his back and that will reveal the robot mode hand. So I'll show you that again on the other side like that. As for the front of the legs, the front robot legs, 
or the beast legs, rotate the legs up, all right? And rotate them in along these little cavities here where the Enigma resides. Oh, he does have a couple more Decepticon symbols on his, the back of his, of his feet. There's that. Last little bit here is take the tail, and then what you want to do is these little spike things shoot out, but just want to push them down, and then you want to take, open the this little panel here, which will allow you, ow, to allow you to flip up the head for robot mode. And then push this down, that'll push the, the spikes, you know, through his chest, like that. And then last little thing is to fold down the thing like that, fold down the kneecaps. Or you can just leave them like as is, like you can just fold them back or whatever. It doesn't really matter how you do it, but it's a good it's a good transformation and it's just a very solidif little solidification regarding it. So let's just leave the plan up for now. So there is that. And there you go, there you have Hunger in his robot mode. And my God, doesn't he look imposing. Jeez, no wonder he's worthy of the leadership of the Terracons. Man, I'd like to see all combiner leaders like like Hunger, Menace, uh, Onslaught, Motormaster, uh, who else, who else? Uh, Scattershot, uh, Pyramagna, uh, Scrapper, um, who else? Who else am I thinking of? Uh, who? I mean, just just the main combiner, like torsos meeting up and just combining into something epic, you know. Um, I mean, it's Cyclonus, you know, Cyclonus. You know, he's because he forms Galvatronus's torso. Anyway, so anyways, uh, articulation wise, head can go full three sixty. Arms can go full 360, they can go off to the side, bend at the elbow, rotate, and that's it. He doesn't really have any wrist articulation. He does share some body components from the Cyclonus and Silverbolt molds, and Scattershot molds, so there's that. Legs go forward and back, out to the side, bend up the knee, rotate, and the feet can go up and down and ankle about. It's all due to transformation hidden within his beast mode. Taking a look at the head, looks pretty good. It's a very, very just, very, like, very stout and prominent facial expression. As I mentioned, the Decepticon symbols, again, he has a normalized Decepticon symbol here, and a very inverted Decepticon symbol on the other one. Again, either it's a reference to G2 or G1 or whatever, or it's just a, just what they wanted to do. With, when it comes to the accessories, now, this is interesting. Actually, I'll talk about this when we get to Abominus regarding the, these specific laws here. Uh, you can plop them in his hands, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and in terms of storage, there is real no storage for the weapons for hunger, unfortunately. Um, it sucks, but um, again, what can you do? You can just, well, okay, maybe really real storage maybe on the arms here maybe like his arm cannons so he has dual arm cannons so he's ready to duel any anyone that he that opposes him so there's that oh yes before I continue before I continue we must take a look at the bio card the bio card it looks pretty amazing the artwork for hunger looks pretty epic Oh my god, I would not want to face him in real life, so it's sad that these used to exist in real life, like the, the, the basis of Hunger's like alternate mode existed in prehistoric times. Same with the other Terracons. Anyways, Micronus Hunger, power links to share his ability to forge missiles from food scraps. Um, okay, so like any uh, McDonald's or... Energon or well, McDonald's wouldn't count. Maybe like Energon, like like Raw Energon or Red Energon or whatever. Any Energon on Cybertron or wherever. So yeah, although well, I recommend getting Hunger. He looks pretty epic. I'm sorry, he just looks pretty basic and straightforward. 
wow, he just looks incredible. The transformation is, is very basic. His alter mode is just incredible. Um, possibility is just terrific. Um, quality control could be questionable, but I'd say he really succeeds in in both modes. So all in all, highly recommend a purchase if you can find Hunger. He looks incredible. Between him and Inferno, his wave mate, he just looks just all in all just outstanding. Just simply outstanding. So yes everyone, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes, Voyager Class Hunger. I will see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible in the next video. And yes, stay tuned for the Abominus uh, Gisalt review. That will be coming soon. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Have a good day. I shall catch you all later. Bye-bye.